Um, first, we're going to get into our top five segment. And um, I don't know why I blanked on this, um, and Katie saved the day on this. I mean, we have Halloween coming up, so why aren't we doing Halloween top fives? And sure enough, Katie gave me some great ones. Um, I think it was top five I, costumes. I pulled that so far out of my ass, it came out of my gut. Like, I was just like, I was out at like lunch or something, I was like, oh shit, I have no idea. And that was just like what I thought of them. <laughs> So, I'm, yeah, it worked. I'm glad we came yeah. up with something. You come up with Halloween, and then I was like, you know what? I think candy would probably be the best one. Because I'm, I mean, go I'm a big candy gal. So, so am I. I'm a huge candy guy. And we are we are what we call November 1st shoppers in this household, right? So uh, we're out there for that 20% and 80% off candy on November 1st, which is never Reese's, right? It's always like freaking... Uh, Milky Ways and Three Musketeers and all the shit Heath that nobody Bars. wants. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> But Bars. look, beggars fuck? can't be choosers, am I right? That's how you that end up with all them like weird ass candies. And that's why we're ranking them. What we hope for. What, what we, we are hoping about. for on November 1st. That is correct. Um, yeah. This is the unlikely to be available on November 1st list. <laughs> <laughs> But for uh, for number five, I've got um, Snickers here at number five. Um, in, in fact, uh, I think all of mine have something to do with... Well, maybe not. They don't all have what? something with to do with... Nuts? I was going to say with nuts, yes. <laughs> but they don't all have something to do with nuts. But my number five is Snickers. Snickers is a good go-to. And it's probably the one on the list that actually fills you up the most. Um, if you're, yeah. I mean, nobody eats candy to get full, though, right? Like, if you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. Katie, you're not doing Ooh. that, are you? What did you have for lunch? A watch him call it. So, what is your number five? My number five. Um. Okay. So, all of this shit's good, and I love Snickers. All of it. But, yes. You know, there's just so many. It's all great, but you know, we just have our top five. So, you know, don't hate that it's only my number five. But Kit Kat. Okay. I do love Kit Kat, but it's only at number five. Um. I, man, I just remembered um, when I was in fourth grade or whatever, when Instagram came out, my username was like KitKat03 or some shit, because I like KitKat so much. That's funny. And my name's Katie with a K, so I was, yeah, that just reminded me of that. But yeah, I, man, I used to get king size KitKats and just sit there and eat that bitch. Go nuts. But no, only number five, the rest of it I like more, so. Yep, and it's it's so easy to list candies too because it's just like all of it, please. Like, <laughs> like bad candy is better than good vegetables, right? <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> oh my god, it's so Dude, true though. I uh, the only thing is I don't really I don't like caramel. So, I'm not a big fan of it either. Like, I would choose... I'm, like, okay with the Snickers, and I like Twix, but that's about it. So, with caramel, it has to be, like, like an additive. It can't be the main feature of the candy. Yeah. <laughs> like, if it happens to be with peanut butter, or with yeah, peanuts, yeah, yeah. or with nougat, right? Like, it mm -hmm. can't be, like... Uh, like, for example, Twix, right? Twix's main thing is caramel, right? No, mm-mm. And I know people no, that love... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's like half and half. And uh, I, I, think, I think its main feature is caramel. And then you've got I people who like, can't is. pronounce it. Is it caramel? Is it caramel? Like, I'm like, from the South. They say caramel. See, that's the thing. I don't know, though. Because like, I'm not from the South. So it could be either one. You could convince me of either one. Like pecan caramel. or pecan. <laughs> see? See? Okay. But yeah. So, my number four um, is whatchamacallit. Um, and another thing, all of these except for, I think, all of my top five, well, three of my top five also have a great value version now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which is helpful <laughs> when you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's like, not, they're not that good, though, to be fair. It's like, it's like they give you those... 
They give you, you the candy. You it looks for. like the candy, and it feels like the candy, but it tastes nothing like the candy. <laughs> but it's actually just lard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What is your number four? My number four is the little packages of gummy bears, the little Haribos. I love getting those. You get so much chocolate and everything. You know, I mean, there's so much chocolate that you get, and it's nice to have a little gummy bear. See, I'm not much into non-chocolate candy, but I get that people are, like the Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. And the, well, and that, like, mixes it up, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. I just don't get anything out of that except for, like, you know, shit and stuck not in a lot my teeth. Of, and they're more expensive, I believe. So you don't see a lot of them, except at the rich people's houses. Okay. So when you do get, gu- when I get gummy bears, I'm like, fuck yeah. So that means you Jack really... Pot. You really have to choose very, very strategically where you're going to go trick-or-treating, right? Yeah, I used to go to the country club, <laughs> like 15 <laughs> minutes away from my house. No great value on this street. Let's oh, go. No, I go to the country club. Oh, my God. Did you ever get, like, the little bags of popcorn? Like, people would just, like, there were people yeah. in my neighborhood. Now, you got to remember, this is back before microwaves almost, right? Like, I'm that old. But there were people in my neighborhood who would literally, like, take popcorn, like the Jiffy Pop popcorn, yeah. and they'd pop up the popcorn and then just stick, like, a handful into a bag and then close up the bag and send it on its way. Yeah. We ate that shit, Katie. Like, no, no like, that stuff is no bueno nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, my number three is Butterfingers. Mm. Now, I'm a little bit weird on Butterfingers, though. I'm going to tell you why. And the reason why is I don't like the smaller ones. But, like, if you give me, like, the king-sized ones, because there's more. Like, there's more in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you get that uh, almost like what I call, like, um, what do I call it? Like, um, Jurassic peanut butter. Because, <laughs> like, it, like, it's not real peanut butter. It feels like it came from, like, the same era as the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. I'm not describing this at all. But yeah, yeah I, for some reason the regular like you know, whatever, the regular size just they're not thick enough. But like if you get the real king size one and they're like that thick, the peanut butter yeah. just tastes better. I don't know why. Cause it's Yeah, like, and I feel like the smaller ones have more chocolate. I think so, maybe, yeah. I don't think it's the same chocolate to Jurassic peanut butter ratio. It's not the same ratio, for sure. I don't think so, either. Plus, there's no great value version of Butterfingers. So, like, there's no... Yeah. What's your number three? My number three is Twizzlers. Back okay. with the, you know, like those little packages that are like the little two. And especially if it's like the rainbow ones. Man. So, do you like, like, I, black licorice as well, or do you just like no. the red? No. Yeah, I don't like black licorice. Um... I love the rainbow shit. That shit's so good. Yeah. The lemon ones. Oh, fuck that. Here's up. a question. How come they, like, you know how Reese's has, like, cereal? Mm-hmm. How come the rest of these companies don't have cereal? Like, there's no Kit Kat cereal and no whatchamacallit cereal, no Snickers cereal. What is up with these people? Oh, uh, well, that's a little too diabetic coma. Okay, no. Uh-uh. There's no such thing. Okay, there's no such thing as too diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you were you're, <laughs> wait. Your number three was Twizzlers. Yeah. All right, my number two is Kit Kat. So your number five is my number two, and yeah. I like Kit Kat just because it's different than everywhere else, and like I can break it off and shit. Like it's a toy as well, right? So like, <laughs> it's not just Man, chocolate. You can play with. How it. do you eat it? How do you eat it? It depends on what size you get, right? Because, like... It, the it, mini ones are, like, a lot of chocolate. Yeah. That's why it's low on my... Well, now they have, like, the like the single ones, too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they just put a giant yeah. single one into... It seems... Now that we're, we're talking about it, it seems like the small versions of the Kit Kat, it's like the chocolate tastes like chalk. Okay. Like, it don't taste right. It tastes Almost like... Almost malty. Like chocolate from like when I was three. <laughs> Back in the two thousand nine era. <laughs> the fuck. Two thousand three. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, we'll give you that. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my number two. What's your number two? My number two is peanut M and M's. Wow, I, I forgot about peanut M and M's. Yes. God, because look, more quantity too. You've got like five of them bitches in one. That's true. Then you can share with your friends or, or... no. Wow, so you're you're that kind of Halloween person. Okay. Wow, so you're a competitive trick or treater. No, I'm stingy. That's what I mean. <laughs> so I'm assuming then that our number ones are the same because there's no way that Reese's didn't make your top five. What? What do you mean? I love Reese's. I do, but I have to be in the mood for it. I. And not like I was when I was a child. Chocolate, I can't do much of it anymore. Okay. Like, I'm like, I, just, I get tired of it. I'm so confused. Okay, so what's your number one? Mine and is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And it's not crunchy. It's like... The creamy kinda, peanut butter? It's a little too much. Like, I don't know. But anyway, we're saying number... Okay, you already said your number one. Yeah. Okay, my number one is Butterfinger. Okay. I love Butterfingers. I, anytime I, man, I will stop in at the gas station. If I'm having a rough day, I'll stop in and get me a Dr. Pepper and a Butterfinger. Man. So you feel my Dr. pain Pepper when it comes to the smaller ones and the bigger ones. For me, like with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, I feel like they're like the crawfish of chocolate. Because like, apparently crawfish is really good, but you have to work your ass off to get to the meat of a crawfish. Yeah. It's like the same thing with a peanut butter cup, right? Like, you have to take it out of the wrapper. Then you have to take it out of the fucking peanut butter cup wrapper. Like, there's like four different wrappers you have to get through before you get to the damn prize. Yeah, yeah you got crawfish, and then you got fucking crab. Crab's awful, too. It seems like Shit. anything that has a shell, if you have to break a shell to get to the it's food. crustacean. Yeah, forget that, dude. I'm a, I'm a fat boy. I need less work to get to my food, not more, okay? I'm just very lazy in general. Like, my hairdresser, she was talking to me today. I got my hair done. Huh. I, and I she was like, well, thanks. Mm -hmm. She was uh, asking me something about something. I said, is that going to be a lot of maintenance? <laughs> oh, no, I was telling her because I naturally have really curly hair. And I was like, if I, you know... You know, I could take care of it, but I don't. She's like, I can, you know, teach you my routine. I said, I ain't fucking doing that. The fuck? I don't want a routine. I'm about to be married. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it would look really pretty, but hell no. That's too much work. Shoot, I you know had a routine. Times? I wash my hair every other day. You think I got time to be taking an hour to do my damn hair? Yeah. Hell no. Oh, man. Yeah, I used to do maintenance when I was trying to land a guy. I have a guy now. I don't need no more of that maintenance, by God. We're going to look like swamp rats up in this motherfucker. You just wait. <laughs> That's how I look before I got my hair done. Damn. 